let the footage roll. Which luminary is that one? I don't know. What I want to focus in on if I can before we're wiped out. zoomed in right there folks I did it on its own it was super zoomed in on it you can see every once in a while I try to do this look at the light Let me zoom it out a little bit see here and then let's pan out up into here should see some more stars out here if our we're lucky I see another one right there Faintly. I lost it. There's another one of the heavenly bodies out there. I got a pen around here. We're starting to get some uh, warming glow, should I say. see it from this angle here there's them three towers over there let's bombard this here luminary one more time
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna kind of be panning back and forth here. See that real super faint one out there? I can't quite bring it in. But that one will. And look at the skyline lightning. Not beautiful folks. Just beautiful. Get focus. Plan with the skies. Oh yeah, look at it now, folks. Just take a gander and focus in on the radius. As the Sun approaches this vantage point two degrees east of north, the other two. Chemtrails, pot, and cigarettes. I don't hardly have a chance, folks. Approaches. Follow your senses and what you observe. Come to your own conclusion of reality. Don't allow some idiot in a lab coat with a 
science degree from a university explain to you what you see are you that fucking inept for real are you that inept you cannot decipher and reason with your own observations the reality of where you are I understand there's lots of questions folks on where we are and why we're here but first we should focus on where and figure out where we're at because we're not on no spinning ball that's for goddamn sure there ain't no motion there ain't no curvature and there ain't no fucking god gravity All you have to do is observe. That's why I'm doing this for you retards who won't go out and do it yourself. How do they know the sun comes towards us? Well, just look at the radius pattern that is coming at us, eliminating the darkness of night that emits directly from the sun. Them are the first of the light rays that reach us, emitted from the sun, you know what I mean? So if the sun was actually 93 million miles away, already the entire horizon out there would be illuminated evenly. Some people don't get it. I don't understand what there ain't to get. Oh, science says. Oh, you better listen to science then, I reckon. Because they're a lot smarter than you are. They went to the universities. One degree further north and two degrees further east from where I was yesterday and the day before. again a little bit notice the radius folks as it grows and grows and envelops more kicks the darkness out of the real estate should I say as we all know light overpowers the darkness so it is reclaiming the real estate out there that's what the light photons are doing that they vacated yesterday as the sun traversed our head and was in the western sky 
I imagine over there on if you could make it to that horizon right there the back side of it looks like the front side you know what I mean if you could get out there because everywhere <laughs> everywhere within this flat realm right now there the Sun is approaching like this at the same time <laughs> It is, the light is leaving somewhere else, just like this, but reverse, instead of getting lighter, it's getting darker. Look at that radius. Growing and growing. And it's going to continue to grow. Clear out into there, folks. Until it's 90 degrees from there. Maybe clear over there. You'll see the sun. Radius. It's light pattern. As it approaches. Hope them folks don't mind what I'm doing. Because I don't care what they think. What I'm doing here on this video speaks for itself. Let's take a gander at our friendly luminary up there whichever one it may be I should do a little research and find out because it's been visiting our skies every morning and every evening if anyone out there has any clue who this is I sure appreciate you to tell me in the comment section like I said this is in the eastern sky oh we got a super it goes the 900 trying to do its own thing once it uh, the light photons and stuff alter enough to where <laughs> it can't detect I don't know how it really works folks but I do know that there's sometimes that that camera will focus see how the lighting's coming into that area up there a little more intensely and we're able to see that radius right there as it grows and it grows and tell pretty much right where that sun is going to be breaking over there as it approaches this could turn out to be pretty marvelous sun into view folks as this sun approaches this destination I'm standing at So that light's starting to gather out in there between the trees now.
Further and further to the north and south, you can see as that sun continues to approach. Got a pretty cool blanket of cloud cover over there, folks. We might be in for a pretty good treat. I had some business I was supposed to be taking care of right now. <laughs> but this is business that I prefer. And I'm my own man, so I do what the fuck I want. to the north So Look at a nice radius. You couldn't ask for a better, more perfect more perfectly defined radius than what you're observing right there. Using that planetary luminary up there as the gauge is how it's grown and developed over that horizon. The light emitted from the sun as it approaches because we know the sun is local and not 93 million miles away. They may have had us believe in that before anybody started really critically thinking about what they've been told, which has totally opened up a whole new can of whoop, whoop ass. And that's why people are getting involved doing the investigations themselves. Back and forth. See the horizon over there lighting up more and more as the sun approaches.